no experience in police work, yet still handpicked to work in a specialized Memphis police unit. Memphis Police Department rolled out the Scorpion unit for the first time in the fall of 2021. But less than two years later, it was disbanded after the beating death of Tyree Nichols. In a story you'll see only on Fox 13, our investigative reporter Kayla Solomon dug into the personnel files and prior work experience of the five men charged and convicted in Nichols' death. Back in February of 2023, just weeks after five former MPD officers were charged in Tyree Nichols' death, Fox 13 put in a public records request for these personnel records, and it included some of the files that were resumes and work experience and applications to the department. The result that we got just recently is what you see in my hand. Those answers to the questions. Over a thousand pages outline the applications for dozens of people who were former members of the Memphis Police Scorpion Unit. At one point, applicants needed at least an associate's degree or two years of military service with an honorable discharge. For officers moving within departments, three years with a post-certified law enforcement department. The current requirements, a high school diploma or GED. That lays out the foundation of the experience for these five men. To Darius Bean, Demetrius Haley, Emmett Martin, Desmond Mills Jr. and Justin Smith. Records show all of them have criminal justice degrees except Demetrius Haley, who has a diploma from Bartlett High School. Fox 13 found the youngest of the group, Tadarius Bean, graduated from Ole Miss in May of 2020 and previously only had two jobs, working at an AT&T distribution center for six months and as a cook at an Olive Branch Wendy's for almost five years. He was recruited to work for MPD while still in college and soon after, entered the training academy. Demetrius Haley applied to work for the department in 2020 after working as a correctional officer with the Shelby County Division of Corrections since 2015. Prior to that, he worked as a ramp agent for FedEx for four years. His records show he had his driver's license suspended twice for problems with insurance, and he also had a misdemeanor citation, but the reason why is redacted. Emmett Martin applied to work for the department in 2018. His work experience includes working for Hertz and also a two and a half year stint working for Youth Villages. He wrote in his application for the department that he was terminated in December of 2017 for improper use of CPI. Fox 13 reached out to Youth Villages to ask further questions. In a brief statement, a spokesperson verified Martin hasn't worked here since 2017 and noted that CPI stands for the Crisis Prevention Institute, which is a national organization that provides certification and training on therapeutic holds. Desmond Mills Jr. had the most work experience with law enforcement. After graduating college in May of 2013, Mills began working as a correctional officer in West Virginia. His record shows he rose through the ranks quickly, working at three correctional facilities. He moved to Marshall County Correctional Facility in Holly Springs in the summer of 2015, then to West Tennessee State Penitentiary in May of 2016. That's the same year he applied to work for MPD. Justin Smith applied to work for the Memphis Police Department in December of 2017, right after he graduated from the University of Memphis. Previously, he worked as an armed security guard at Universal Security, as well as FedEx Express. A sixth officer, who was also fired but not criminally charged, was Preston Hemphill. He applied twice to be a police service technician and was accepted in March of 2018. According to his application, he had no prior work experience. He became a police officer in July 2020 after graduating from the academy. In the federal trial against these officers, it was revealed that these six men were handpicked to be on the so-called A-team, handling the most dangerous cases in the Scorpion unit. At the time, each one had less than four years on duty. Now that federal trial ended in a mixed verdict, Martin and Mills pleaded guilty and testified against the other three. They're awaiting sentencing in that case. A state murder trial and a $550 million civil lawsuit are still pending in the death of Tyree Nichols. Kayla Solomon, Fox 13 Investigates.